Good morning, friends. Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here. Let me put my coffee down. Happy Saturday. Only four days left till Christmas. And I decided I need to make a Christmas garland. <laughs> I have behind me, I'm in front of our fireplace, our mantle. And you'll see I have our stockings hung. And they've been hang they hang like this every Christmas for the last uh, five years since we've been in this house. But this morning, or actually yesterday, I just got to looking at it and I thought, that just needs something. It just needs something, but I don't know what. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I hung the little, like a garland, like the cute little um, wooden beads. Uh, then I thought, oh, I could make a popcorn, a popcorn uh, garland, right? And I could dye the different strands of the, of, um, the popcorn like I could dye the popcorn in different colors and we could have like red green and plain and wouldn't that be cute but then I thought ain't nobody got time to be stringing a popcorn garland five days before Christmas right so I nixed that idea real quick and then I'm like okay I don't want to go to Hobby Lobby I'm done spending money for this Christmas season right so then this is how my my brain works I thought what do I have on hand I have ribbon. I have lots of ribbon. So let's try ribbon. So that's what we're going to do today. I've never done this before. Um, so who knows if it's going to work, but we're going to try it anyway on Facebook Live with you guys. So hopefully this will inspire you to dress up your mantle. I just, like I said, I kept looking at it going, something's missing on the mantle. So uh, we're going to attempt this. And so anyway, let me introduce myself again for those of you who might be popping in going, who is this lady with the big hair? See, I got the big, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I've got the bouffant messy bun happening because you know, the higher your hair, closer you are to God, right? So anyway, I've got that happening. But um, there's no time like a pr the present to make a Christmas garland. If you guys are watching this morning, Give me a wave in the comments. Let me know what you're doing on this Saturday morning. And uh, let's attempt to make a garland. <laughs> so I started out, I've already done this part. I, um, you'll see that the stockings are hung with the little, um, hold on, I'm gonna find my words. <laughs> I don't know what you call these. They're made by 3M. They're the little, you know, you can, they've got the, um, plastic sticky strip behind them and you stick them on and then you can just pull them off and they don't you don't have to put a nail and they don't leave a mark so I buy the clear ones every year and so that's what the stockings are hung with so and they're great you can buy these these are the large ones which will hold the weight in the stocking and um, but you can buy different sizes like I have the um, command strips that's what you call these command strips. Let me see who's on. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Dania. Danielle's driving to South Carolina. That sounds fun. Um, these are the ones I used this morning. I have a bunch of mini ones. These are great. I have used them at every birthday party, every event to hang garlands and whatnot. So um, banners and such. So anyway, command strips. That's what these are. Um, okay, so I used these. I put these up already on the sides. I don't know if you could see it. And I've already stuck that on there. So that's what we're going to hang the ends of our garland with. Or we're going to attempt to. We're going to attempt to. So then what I did was I went up in my ribbon stash. It's amazing how much ribbon one collects um, from years of crafting. So I have some burlap ribbon. It um, looks like this. And I got this, if you see it came from the fall collection at Hobby Lobby for $9.99. I got it for like 40%, you know, I used my 40% off coupon or it may have even been on sale for 50% off. Anyway, if you don't know that about Hobby Lobby, this is not a commercial. This is just, I love you and I want you to get all the discounts. You can always pull up on your phone. If you're in Hobby Lobby, just go to your Google search bar, type in Hobby Lobby, and it will automatically pull up on the list of things about Hobby Lobby, 40% off coupon. And anytime you're in there, 
if it's not on sale for 50% off, you can use that 40% coupon, 40% off coupon to get 40% off of one item. Just FYI, word to the wise. And another word to the wise, the de each department go is half off or 50% off every other week. So like if the ribbon is on sale 50% this week, but you can't go, you know, next week it won't be, but then the next week it will be again. They alternate the weeks, just word to the wise. So anyway, I got this at Hobby Lobby for like, you know, five bucks, and it was a ton. You see, I've already used a lot of it, so it'll last a while. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby too. It's a pretty deep red. And I have a couple accent ribbons because our tree in here is burgundy and gold. So I have this gold. It's kind of sparkly. You gotta love the sparkle. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a buck. They have ribbons. They have a cute little craft section at the Dollar Tree if you didn't already know that. And then you've already heard me talk about tool. I always have some tool in my ribbon box. So I haven't decided yet which one of those I'm gonna use. I might use both, who knows? But we're gonna start with these two main colors. And all I did, I didn't really, I didn't take out a tape measure. I just laid it on the floor and I like laid it out the length of the hearth and then just added a couple inches on either side to give us a little leeway. So let's go along with this apparent plan I've got happening here. We'll see what it does. I have some Christmas hooks. And to start, I'm just gonna take the hook and I'm gonna stick it in the end like so and just try to close it up. See, it just went right through the burlap. And so I'm just gonna bring the bottom up and bend it, maybe. My fingers aren't working this morning. All right, maybe I need more coffee. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna kind of twist it around. Like, see, I just kind of twisted it. It's real, these are real, the little Christmas hooks are real bendable. So I just kind of did that. All right, and I'm gonna kind of do the same thing at the top. I just really wanna make a little loop. It doesn't have to stay in the form of the hook, so to speak, because I don't want it to come up to slide off of the command strip hook. So I just kind of, whoops, twisted it around like that. So, and now what we're gonna do is just hook it up on our little command strip so it'll hang like that. Now, this is the part where I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. But I think, I don't know if I want to twist it. We'll see. We'll just kind of see what looks cute. I think we're going to twist it like that. So what are y'all crafting this Christmas season? Are y'all all done with Christmas shopping? And then we'll finagle it in the end to make it look pretty. All right, so now I've got it all kind of twisted like that. And I'm gonna take my other Christmas hook on the end, like so. And then we'll just kind of See where we're at. We'll arrange it on there. Let me see who all's watching. Y'all say where y'all are watching from in the comments if y'all don't mind. Let me know what y'all are up to today. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And if you guys have Christmas garlands on your mantles or maybe your stairs or steps or any kind of Christmas garland in your house, Sometimes I've seen them on entertainment centers. We have a garland of our entertainment center too. It hangs uh, Christmas cards. It's super cute. 
and I got that at the Dollar Tree. I'll have to swing around and show that to you guys. We got that at the Dollar Tree, obviously for a dollar, and it's cute. It's got the little mini clothespins with Christmas trees on it, and so it hangs our Christmas cards. All right, so I'm just fashioning the hook on the other side, the little loop-de-loop -loop situation I got going on. You guys, we have had such a, a banner week. We finished all our Christmas orders ahead of time, got them out. And so this is why I had time to sit and think, what's missing on my mantle? <laughs> so we appreciate you guys, all the love you've shown us, the things that you've ordered and supported us throughout the year. Okay, so I've got it twisted. So now I'm gonna just come across to my other side and place the hook on here maybe there we go all right so now it's just kind of hanging down so now what i think i'm going to do is try whoops, to drape it in these hooks like so and just maybe y'all think about that so far now I have to decide I don't know if I want to use this gold there's the gold I don't know I kind of like it and then we have the green oh I think I like the green or maybe I'll do both hmm all right we're about to get crazy here on Saturday morning in our pajamas with our bouffant hairdo and our coffee. <laughs> All right, so tell me what um, your favorite Christmas decoration that you have in your house. Maybe it's something new that you bought. Maybe it is... Um, an old family heirloom situation what's the favorite thing that you put up every year okay so Tanya says pick green that's what I got in my hand sister great minds think alike I think we're gonna do it all right so now gotta, I'm just gonna kind of this is how you measure when you get a wild hair you just throw it on the floor drag it out well I guess I can't use more than that because look <laughs> all right so that's gonna have to be perfect all right but the good thing about tool is it's pretty forgiving so I'm just going to I 
actually I'm just not even going to tie it. I think I'm just going to poof it in there. Yeah, better not. I better make a little knot. All right. So let's see. Let me read some comments. Hold on. Bear with me. Hashtag bifocals. Okay. Danielle's driving to South Carolina. We saw that. Be safe, Danielle. Miss Gracie, good morning. Tanya says her favorite decoration is her Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I saw pictures. Tanya, if you have a picture of your Charlie Brown Christmas tree, share it in the comments because that one in your front yard was super cute. And it looked exactly like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Like there are a lot of imitators, but that one looked exactly like the show. I was trying to explain to my littles the other day about Charlie Brown and how when we were little, like we didn't have cable, so it just came on like every so often. And my mom would call us in from playing outside to come watch Charlie Brown. And it was like the highlight of our time. All right, so I just tied a little loop-de-loop -loop to put it on the hook. And I'm just gonna kind of gather it the other end and I'm gonna kind of gather it up so I can kind of feed it through what we have. Well, I say that, but sometimes things are easier said than done, correct? Am I right? Um, you know how when you think of things in your head, like you get wild hairs and it, in your head, it works out perfectly and it looks perfectly and it was like the best idea ever. And then when you go to do it, yeah, not so much. <laughs> All right, so here we go with the green and I kind of just have it bunched up in my hand with the end and I'm just gonna kind of try to weave it loosely in there. Then we'll come back and poof it at the end. Maybe. Tool is such a really cool ribbon to um, have at, on hand because it does add such a cool, you know, a, it's pretty and you can poof it through through on a lot of different projects. That's pretty. I think the green was a good choice, Tanya. What do y'all think? I think that's cute. Kim, good morning, Kim. Let me go back and read some comments. Yes, we're fixing to get our Christmas movie on as soon as I finish this garland and this live. Okay, do y'all think I should add gold or do you, I think it's kind of cute just like it is. What are y'all thinking? I don't know, I don't want to do too much. I think there's enough gold in the stockings and on the tree. All right. All right, let me cut that tail off down on the other end. this little piece. That'll be good to wrap a present in. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do this and make my life easy. 
twisted it and tucked it under. Um, all right, girls. That's it. That's our Christmas garland. I just used three um, different ribbons that I had on hand. Like I said, I really wanted to do the popcorn garland. Maybe I'll do that next year, but mm, probably don't know. Uh, probably won't happen. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is just a fun, easy way to dress up your mantle and like I said I already had the ribbon so it was really no effort um, let me read <laughs> girls I am on vacation <laughs> I am on vacation but I had like I said I had a wild hair and I just thought let me share this with my friends because one of you might want to make a garland or dress up your mantle or your banister or whatever and you don't have to go spend big bucks or whatever you can use what you have on hand so that was the point of this video because um, you know and plus I thought it might be comical <laughs> I have a lot of wild hairs if I shared them all with you um, yeah it would be very interesting so anyway I am technically going to be on vacation right after this but I might pop on and do a live this week you never know so anyway long story short there's my Christmas garland and uh, Tanya post your Charlie Brown Christmas tree I love you too Kim very much very much thank you for guys for always watching our videos and supporting us if you liked this video if you had fun if you think you know somebody that might want to make a Christmas garland go ahead and spread the love and um, pass this video on so somebody else can watch it we'd appreciate it um, all right, my child is trying to get in the front door. She spent the night somewhere. She is coming home, so I gotta go let her in. So I'll talk to you guys later. Merry Christmas. I love you, and happy crafting. <laughs>